Good morning everybody. It's been a while. Anyway, let's get the shed open. I've got no real plan today. I just thought I would uh, start filming and open the shed up and see where it goes. Right then, um, there is a couple of things I want to do. I want to pull this um, Zontes out. Really need to do some on that. Um, I've got a charity egg run coming up in uh, April. Um, it's March now, so next month charity egg run. Uh, so I need my V Strom 250 up and running it's not been started for about uh, oh three months maybe it's been stood there three months it has got E10 petrol in it now I oh, sorry nearly knocked you into that would you fucking believe it look? as soon as I start filming fucking Biggles gets his plane out a sec. Right, he's gone. I swear, every time I start filming, someone decides to fly a plane over, and we're not near a base or anything. Okay, right, I've just pulled the Zontes out of, uh, out of the shed for the time being. We've not done anything on that for a little while. Uh, let's get this, um, let's get this, uh, Suzuki out. Right, this Suzuki has genuinely not been started for, oh, I'd say three months, maybe longer. Uh, E10, I was going on about E10, weren't I? I don't believe all these scare stories going about that E10 uh, is crap and it turns to jelly and all this other shit I've heard. Someone even, I don't know who it was, but someone on one of the groups even suggested... 30 days and it's it turns to jelly and it's unusable now I've not even opened the tank but we'll see if this will start might have a flat battery might not that's E10 see that was genuine that's five right up that's genuinely not been started for a very long time. So, there you go. I'll just let that warm up for a little while. Uh, also, I might pull the cover off this. I did do a little intro video on this when I bought it back in November. And then I pretty much shoved it under that sheet and I've done absolutely nothing with it. It's been there since November. If that starts it'll be a bloody miracle. Now, you'll remember that this I think I only paid 100 quid, 125 quid, I can't remember, but um, it's smoky and it's rattly, but it did start.
Right, I ain't got the key. Drum off. Yeah, I need to go through that, check all the tyre pressures and oil and everything ready for the uh, charity egg run that we do. Uh, we run from uh, Uppingham between Leicester and Peterborough and we run down to the Peterborough Hospital taking uh, chocolate eggs and cuddly toys for the uh, children in hospital. It's organised by the uh, Rutland chapter uh, which is usually a closed group but for the purposes of the charity they uh, they open it up to anybody uh, did it in 2018 2019 uh, 2020 and 2021 were cancelled due to Covid uh, but yeah we're back on right um, there's plenty of petrol in this but you don't want to go That must be a damn good battery on it, that's all I can say. Uh, can't really be bothered to spend very much time on it, but... wondering if there's anywhere without any without too much dismantling whether I can put a squirt of uh, brake cleaner or some shite or other to get it, uh, get it to kick I mean she's done 50,000 odd kilometres so, and it has been standing here a long time as, as can be witnessed by the Spiders. Yeah. Ew. Yes. It's gonna need 
need some cleaning. There's nothing really I can do in there. I'm going to need to take the air cleaner off, but I can't be bothered. Let's give it another go. I believe, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think there should be some uh, caps that go on the end there. Not entirely sure. Um, someone did mention that it's exactly the same swing arm as a Yamaha YBR. I don't think it is actually, but it's. Uh, let's have a look. It is very similar. Yeah. Right. Let me uh, get myself organised. See what we're going to do, and we'll pop you back. Right. I need to get the swing arm on that. Uh, what you call it? The Zontes, and uh, that's a swing arm bolt. It's a bit shitty, so we'll get that bit of a clean up. Better, not perfect, but better. So, turn into the swing arm itself. Uh, I don't quite know. I really don't know because because when I took this off, it was tight. Now has it been over tightened, or is it because those cup washers are missing? And I haven't got any, and I can't find any. So uh, I wonder if I was just to put a big washer on there. Which is the same as a cup washer, it's just not cupped. Whether that would uh, whether that would get me by. I mean if I if I put them on and torque it to the required specification and it's not over tight, then in theory that should that should work, shouldn't it? Uh, and I really don't know whether I ought to paint this or not, I don't know. Uh, let me get that clean up. Um, See what it looks like, and then make my mind up as to whether I'm going to paint it or not. Right, I have made the decision that that does need painting. Um, I've given it a bit of a sanding just to get the shine off the paint because I'm not going to do a cracking job here. Uh, one thing I cannot do is uh, that. Um, I'll tell you where I want to see you. That rubber thing there, I cannot get it off. It appears that you've got to slide it that way, but it's got a washer tack welded on. 
yeah I could cut that washer off I suppose but I'm not going to so it's going to be painted with that rubber thing on unfortunately because uh, that's all I can do so well, there's a little bit of rust there I missed just a sec This is just going to be a, a one, two, five, cheap and cheerful. Chuck it back together. So let's give that a, a bit of a degrease. It is covered in shit and grease. I'll be honest with you. I'm struggling to get some of it off. What did I do with that? I'm losing the plot here. I had a pot of degrees. So there it is. Yeah, this is uh, just a light sandpaper and degreaser. And we'll get all the crap off it and we'll give it a damn good wash get some black paint on it. And I'm going to hazard a guess here that you guys have seen somebody sanding and painting before so I'm going to spare you that. We'll bring you back when we're ready to paint. You know when days you have where you're yabbering away and filming away and talking to the camera and explaining what you're doing and all that bollocks and then you realize the camera's not on well I've just been doing that for about 10 minutes so I'm not entirely sure what I said and what I didn't say so we'll sort of pretty much briefly repeat what I was banging on about we have cleaned degreased and sanded the swing arm and it's hanging there on Mrs. Bodget's washing line, drying. So we'll paint that up when it's dry. Uh, we have measured up the swing arm bolt, which is on my vernier gauge is 13.6 millimeters. So we'll order a couple of 14 mil washers. Although I am going to try once again to get the proper cup washers if they exist. They might, they, you know. They, it, there was probably never cup washers on there, I really don't know. And I can't see on my YBR whether there is cup washers on that. Because someone said it's the same swing arm, whether it is or not I don't know. But anyway, this is a, this is a bit of a Bitsa video. Um, we, we're not really doing anything specific, we're just sort of going through what we got. Reminding myself because it's been a little while since I've been out here. You know, life gets in the way. Um, but one thing I do want to do, I want to get a top box on this Suzuki. Now it's got this uh, standard Suzuki rack, uh, but I want to put a Jivi, Givi, I don't know how you say it, Jivi, Givi, whatever you call them, G I V I top box on it, um, a mono key as opposed to the cheap nasty mono lock system now I have this plate here but this plate is one that's designed to go on the specific arms that uh, that um, bolt to the bike uh, those specific arms for this model are not available so I'm wondering whether I can somehow bodge that on there Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be that easy because none of the holes actually line up. But if I could get that fitted on there somehow, that actually don't look too bad. And I could just get myself a mono key box. And I am already watching one on uh, eBay that's a specific Suzuki one, which will be nice. Uh, yeah, then that gives me the uh, luggage carrying capacity that I require. Um, why do you require carrying luggage on it? You don't ride it much. Well, true, but I do when the weather's nice, got work on it, and I do need to take my work back. So, yeah, 
that's what we're going to see if we can uh, figure a way of getting that on there. Right, I um, don't think I'm going to be doing a lot more today. Maybe get that painted, I don't know. But uh, yeah, if there's anything else, I'll sure like, turn the camera on again. Right, what I've done, uh, I've taken this uh, rack off. Very easy. One, two, three bolts, and away it goes. Now, I've got the top plate on the ground there grass and what I'm wondering is whether I can just put this on hang on which way does it go that way and then just mark through those holes and bolt it on however there's a catch as there always is if I do that then the bolts will be on top of this surface which means you won't be able to get the top box on uh, so what I would have to do is somehow countersink the plastic and then get countersunk bolts to bolt that on and then just hope that that is strong enough I, th I think it will be I can't think of any other way of doing it. Uh, you can buy from Jivy, Givy. I'm going to call it Jivy. I don't care if it's wrong. If it's wrong, correct me in the comments. Uh, you can get a specific metal plate from Jivy that just bolts on top of that and then allows for a standard plate to bolt on top of that. But you're starting to stack things up. They're expensive as well. It's a metal bent metal plate and they want 40 quid for it. So, uh, being the tight ass that I am, I would much prefer to try and get that on there. And if, if the result of trying to do that is that I destroy this plate, then so be it. I'm not bothered. So that is what we're going to try and do I think yeah right let me work on that see if I can get some holes drilled through there uh, so there's two things I've got to go on eBay for now I need some countersunk bolts and I need them big washers for the uh, for the swing arm so yeah let's drill that through because at the minute all I should be destroying is the plate as opposed to uh, my Suzuki okay right I'll bring you back if I get anything done right then I've done it uh, there it is and I think it's gonna work and the reason I say I think it's gonna work not it's definitely gonna work is because a where I've bolted it down I doubt you can see it, but it's a barely perceptible, but there is a very slight bow where it's followed the lines of the uh, rack. Uh, I've picked up those two holes there, which are existing mounting points where the, the arms would bolt to, so they're not going to be a problem. There are some little blanks that go in there, but I haven't got them, which is unfortunate. Um, where we might have a problem is I've used these two little rounded allen key style bolts which are as flat as i could get now it could be that when i slide the uh top box on they may fail it i don't think they will but they may if they do i might be able to just flatten them off with a flapper wheel and failing that i could get two fully recessed bolts so either way it should be okay so i am going to bolt that back on the suzuki when it's on, I shall uh, bring you back for a look. Right then, who spotted my deliberate mistake? That is the mounting hole in there to bolt the back rack back on. And I can't get at it because this plate's in the way. Uh, not a massive problem. It just means I've got to unbolt the plate again, bolt the rack on first and then bolt the plate on. 
who spotted it and didn't tell me, eh? Anyway, I'll bring you back in a bit. And there we go, finished result. GV top plate fitted, although it's not meant to be like that. It ain't going anywhere, that is solid. So, yeah, good result. Uh, I've also given the uh, Zonti's Tiger swing arm a coat of black there. He'll need another couple of coats, but yeah, we're uh, we're making progress slowly. So yeah, it's um, it's been good to get back into it. I'll be honest, enjoyed it. Um, been pissing about with computers all through the cold weather, and uh, I did contemplate putting some computer videos up, but I didn't bother. So anyway, yep, that's uh, that's all we're going to do tonight, guys, or today. A uh, little bit bitty bits here and bits there but we're uh, we're just easing ourselves back into the game so uh, yeah that'll do for now so thanks for watching thanks for sticking with me thanks for the uh, new subscribers that I've got even though I've not been uploading videos much much appreciated cheers guys we'll catch you later